fun. Scab's partying here. <laughs> I, I love that guy, man. Yeah. He's here doing his thing. And we have these players coming out doing their thing. PK Chris, who has been on a run and a half today. Yeah, beating Smubs, beating who else? I, and Smubs was the most recent set. I know he I know he ain't beat like s several other great players. Oh, beat, beating Mr. E, I think, maybe? I don't was he, think so. Was, I'm not sure exactly. I know they were in route. All I know is that Chris has definitely cemented his place here, but Oolong, who has been the long-standing number one player here in MVVA, who, uh, if I've heard, going on a very long local winning streak, is pretty much uncontested except for maybe a couple players beating him here and there. Yeah. And Oolong is really much cementing himself here, getting his win over at Hans PV, the former number one, and yeah. looking to make it into Winterside Grants. Yeah. From my knowledge, they, Chris and Oolong hasn't played, but all of Oolong's usual threats, being enhanced PV, Dexter, who was getting wins on him, and Mr. E, are no longer in bracket. So, this this might be the Oolong's homecoming. Listen, man, Oolong is looking comfortable in his zone right now, doing the thing he does best, which is Wii Fit Dash Attack. Yeah. Utilizing that very, very well so far. Is in the ledge trapping game in general. But PK Chris trying to fill out the game right now. You definitely tell he's trying to set a pace at ground. Oolong, who's kind of doesn't really play at a pace too much. He kind of just does his thing at the ledge and makes you feel weird. This is the thing, this yeah. is the thing that Wii Fit does. Yeah, and taking that with the back air, just calling out. Chris tried to call out with an up smash, but he's like, nah, my feet are stronger. And the ledge trap situation. We forget so much mileage from just doing soccer ball from ledge. It's able to do so much shield damage if you're just misspaced properly. And you, a lot of players can't contest it. Yeah, it's very tough dealing with all the projectiles and disjoints that we Fit Trainer throws out, especially in a matchup like this where Ness struggles inherently against disjoints in general. And we're seeing Oolong playing around those platforms very well and catching the landings. Because what you can do very well against these floaty characters and using your up air and your disjoints to catch them on the back foot, we're seeing PK Chris trying to take the advantage and run with it. But Oolong has been commanding the advantage so far. Yeah, no, he's doing a great job. Okay, he tried to read a sun salutation. And Wii Fit has the longest roll in the game. So you're going to see Oolong roll from ledge uh, quite a few times. And you're going to wonder like why Chris ain't punishing it. Man, that, that shit goes deep. I want I want you to punish if we fit roll from ledge first, and then we'll start talking, yeah. because that is ridiculous. Yeah. I can. All I can say is no, no, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't speak on that. But anyways, we have uh, Oolong sitting up here at the ledge again, waiting for him to strike. But I love that PK Mag get back on PK Chris, and then finding the spot dodge. Not going to take it just yet there with that up smash, but the shield there too. PK Chris finding all of these reads from the defensive game from Oolong, but here comes that back air out of shield. Regardless of all the reads that Chris has found, the disjoint's coming through for Oolong again and again. Yeah, you can't challenge or, like, hit Weefa from the back. Back air out of shield is just too fast. Minus four on shield is, like, you can't do much about it. So it's just not worth hitting her from back there. But Chris managed to find the stock anyway. And 29% through those PK fires. And just taxing on. Finding some good damage there. Here comes Chris trying to find more damage on the platform. Comes the up airs once more, catching Oolong on the back foot here. And realizing the one thing he can really do in this matchup right now is force We Fit to never get comfortable keeping this off kilter and just forcing you to stay in the air. Because once we're in the air, once I'm above you, that's where Chris is in his best spot. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. We Fit not, doesn't have the best landing tools. And Ness, one of the craziest characters that can juggle with up B, up airs. Definitely will make you have a hard time. And back mm. it right there. Yeah. That's my like favorite thing that like Nessas do is using moves to make space. Yeah. Right? Necessarily like wasting buns or empty hopping. There's no empty hopping, it's just hopping. Yeah. We're throwing out up. Every time we hop, every time we move, there, I'm pressing there. a button. There's something there. There's no pressing the stick without pressing a button. We're we're doing something. We're being active. Yeah. And Chris does a really great job of utilizing that. To say if you're in my zone, get out. Mm -hmm. He owns a literally, it's like the animation of the move. It's a yeah. giant blue circle symbolizing, buddy, you're not yeah. getting through this. this. This is my place. I don't know why I don't know why you're doing this. I don't know why, what, who you think you are, Mr. Mr. Oolong. Regardless of all the disjoints that you have, you're never going to feel comfortable on that ledge, which is why we're bringing this to Kalos Pokemon League. It's going to make it much more challenging 
for PK Chris to lock down and playing around those platforms. But I feel like, especially like you mentioned earlier, the long roll range with Wii Fit, it's going to make getting off the ledge so much easier for Long here in this, on the stage. Yeah, no, definitely. And another big thing is you see those deep breathings trying to come out a bit more. Deep breathing does ha allow you to live a bit longer. So Long could take advantage of that with Cal being such a big stage. It's could be super difficult for Chris to get a stock at the normal kill percent that he normally gets it at. Yeah, because we know the one thing Oolong wants is to make that range against his nest, does not want to be in his face whatsoever. P PK Chris, though, finding so much damage so far here on this first stock. Again, floating around there with a PK Magnet. Oolong trying to find the pressure on the platform again. But PK Chris coming through with the PK Fire and yeah. even catching that roll, he has adapted to the long roll. Yeah, He's no. in a, he punished We Fit Trainer roll. He, he did it. He's the first man to do whatever. Yeah. First documented person. Can we find a person that punished ex Yoshi egg roll? <laughs> that's, that's for another story. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, but Oolong taking the first stock right there with that F tilt. He's doing a fantastic job and just now landing. I love the crouches that are being implemented by Oolong. Basically, we're seeing him crouch and it's like, okay, you can't hit me anymore. It's like a pseudo shield. And if you do manage to hit Oolong, he's already in crouch cancel motion. So he's not going to take as much knockback. back. Oh yeah, 100%. It, it's just shrinking down your hurt box where these big aerials from Nash can't really hit you from all the way down there. And force... That, did that work? I, I didn't know that worked. Sure, man. <laughs> That's insane. But still, Oolong still somehow in Venice State, but losing that trade there, unfortunately. But 66% of extra credit is going to put you in a very pretty position yeah. there for Oolong. That ball did like 20? What the heck? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what kind of ball were you doing. This is like this situation of putting a rock in a snowball. Yeah. <laughs> There's some weight weighing down. Oh, my. Yeah. Chris tried to fight back, but it just wasn't enough. The stock is lost. Oolong up a stock, 45%. And, yeah, just the game is now just going more their pace as we go on. It's the biggest thing, like you mentioned earlier, the bigger stage gives Oolong much more space to get deep breathing up, get sun salutation, and play his game. Calculate your approaches more and being able to avoid the space that Pika Chris is making. Find the little more the little options to get back in and do your thing. Yeah, that's definitely getting so tough. Hey, Chris definitely read the soccer ball, but just was too early on that one. All right, nice parry. Dash in, back throw, not gonna do it. State's definitely playing a big part right there. 155. And the State, Cal is playing a big part. Going to close it out right there. But definitely took a while for it to end the stocks. And these are, those are the type of stocks you want. If you're going to high percents, that means you have more interactions to play with. Oh, <laughs> that means the less your opponent has. Percent. I'm loving Oolong's use of that forward air there to keep just in that bad position. But here comes the PK Magnet once again. Chris finding so much off of each interaction. And now forcing Oolong to play under that platform and keeping him scared to throw out the soccer ball again. That's the one thing you need. Because that soccer ball is commanding this entire matchup right now. Yeah. This Ness cannot deal with it right now. Hey, Chris does not know the best things to do against that soccer ball. And Oolong's getting a lot of mileage. Up air not going to do a good, good DI. All right, drifting all stage. Yeah, going Ooh, past that's ledge. Unfortunate. Okay, yeah, and that's going to do it right there. All right, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, drifting past the ledge there. Unfortunately, going a little bit too high with Ness and Long taking it with the F-Till. We fit trainer uh, F-Till infamously doing basically everything for the character. That move is not okay whatsoever. Nah, second that move, you got deep breathing on, that move's like, yo, stocks, gone. <laughs> And that's the thing, but again, a really good point that you mentioned, right? Kalos being so much of a bigger stage, giving Ulan the difference breaker of getting able to find more sun salutations and yeah. deep breathing. You can take more hits and you do more damage. And that's why PK Chris brought this to a much more linear stage. Where we get FD where the projectiles are so good, the soccer ball is still going to be a menace to deal with, but now you don't have as much space to get your deep breathing off. Yeah, and this is from the three stages that we've seen. We've seen PS2, Kalos, and FD. This is the store stage in like length. So PK Chris definitely could just come up on Oolong a lot faster and pressure those deep breathings if they're done like on stage. As I say, on the contrary of that too, Oolong can put on the pressure on PK Chris as well because he's finding so much damage with these juggles. The anti-airs as well. Chris coming out of the corner though, trying to find more damage with the forward air. I'm 
loving the parry from Chris so far, too. He's definitely adapting well to the projectiles. The more time goes by, the more he's realizing what to use to deal with with projectile. Yeah, I know he's doing a great job, but Ulong ending the stock right there. Darren to fair. Gonna close it out. And only 87%. Doing a great job trading with Chris. Just tagging on more percent. Oh, with the PK Thunder, but still getting hit through that air dodge. PK Chris is used to the PK Thunder, man. It's absolutely yeah. unmatched and catching the air dodge with the backer as well. Yeah. Finally taking that first time. Yeah, that frame trap. Chris just able to throw out a button and then just yell, you're gonna air dodge here, you're gonna die for it now. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> missing the dare. Or we fit just man. too skinny. This is what the workouts are for. <laughs> this is this is what CrossFit does for you. Yeah. You just get slim fit, right? <laughs> Freaking SDI. Yeah. Comes the F tough out of the corner as well. And deep breathing again. The difference maker so far. Doing so much work for you. Holding on the ledge once more. Piggy Chris struggling to find an opening because again these disjoints. Been yeah. doing so much. The soccer ball coming back and hitting him. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. It's if that soccer ball is in motion, it's most likely an active hitbox. And Eptil is going to take it right there. Just the count pick just not doesn't seem to be working out for Chris right now. Again, I understand the idea behind it. And there, there are certain things that are coming into fruition more. But at the same time, Oolong saying, hey, buddy, this is not a one-sided argument here. Yeah. If you've got your advantage state, oh, boy, I've got one, too. I'm feeling comfortable in this chair right now. Oh, definitely. All right, we see theirs come out. But... Long is showing why he is running the region right now. Oh, 100%. Saying this is no fluke. And some people say MVVA not the strongest region. This is being Tri-State's best right now. Mm -hmm. So, man, this is not Mickey DVA, bro. This is, this yeah. is, this is real. Saying I'm changing the narrative. Oh, don't change the story, bro. Don't, don't put in the, the cliff notes. Player yeah. 4 version. Oh, my. Yeah. And game 3 going to Oolong. 2-1 in the set. Yeah. The boys are coming out. You hear the cheering in the crowd. Look, and before we hear it from anybody, before I hear this, the tired argument of certain tiredies of a state fighting each other all the time, how often does PK Hurst fight John numbers before anybody brings that up? They don't play that often. I would assume not. No. Because Long Island is not very close to Brooklyn. No. Well, yeah, no. They're not close at all. So Chris before I hear any of that, before any of that nonsense, do not do not play that. Right? Especially where Chris is in Long Island. So definitely on the deeper side. So it's definitely not a common interaction between those two. Might not even have played this year. To be fair. So that's the thing about these big crossover events. If you find matchups that are just really tough for your character in general. But Oolong adapting super well. We're seeing PK Chris again bringing this back to FD, but taking a more aggressive approach. Saying, yeah. saying again, we need to do one thing. We have one singular narrative, and it's lock down this ledge. Yeah. Not, we, we can go off stage, you can deep breathing, that's fine. But once you get back on the stage, this is my house. This is my yeah. jungle gym. I own the park. This is my place. Yes, sir. And mm. yeah, that's what I wanted to see. More up airs. So Oolong's been directly above him a bunch of times and has been trying to challenge him with like an aerial or something. And Chris was trying to go for like bears and stuff. But up air kind of beats out that exact thing, that exact approach. And exactly on the other side, too, we've been seeing the Wii Fit up tilts coming in clutch for Oolong, juggling of his own. That's the thing, you can't be sleeping here. Because while PK Chris wants to be in the air, so you're like, wait, I'm in the air. Wait, we fits up air is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, I don't know why I chose this. There's there's so many factors going to a matchup like this, it's really tough to stay on top of. But Oolong trying his hardest to take this first stock. Greek is out of the corner again and keeping this Weefit on his toes. Yeah, and I like the dash back from Chris saying it's like, okay, essentially he couldn't get the tech chase right there, so he's like, okay, Oolong, I'm gonna bait you into doing something. And he did and got a bit more damage. But now Chris is at the ledge, and how can he get out of this situation? Roll from ledge, put it all back on the other side. I think it's from coast to coast, but PK Chris still hanging on here strong. It was a PK Thunder. Again, the juggle game from this nest has been looking fantastic. The reversal with that forward air, and the PK Fire actually coming in clutch to deal with that soccer ball and the nair. You thought he was trying to reflect earlier with the F smash. Now the answer is his own side B. Yeah, and he's just doing a fantastic job. PK Chris now up three stocks to one. This has been the biggest lead he's had all set. 
Oh, the duck under? You just ducked under We Fit. That's We Fit thing. We yeah. just ducked under you. We Fit's like you've been play, you've been listening to the trainings. <laughs> you've been going to the CrossFit, bro. Yeah. You watch the Zuma oh. videos. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh whoa, the, the whoa, 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 Oolong, hold I'm on, new, buddy. I'm, I'm an Oolong fan now. <laughs> Blood in the water. Yeah. He is somebody is, is feisty right now. Yeah. Bear, oh my. Oh bear, my. bear. That was 78. Oolong is turning up and immediately gets shut down. Yeah. Okay, Chris, finding the spot dodge there. Charge up smash. We have a game five in our hands. Yeah. Definitely one of the most exciting sets we've had just far. And this is like a third game five of this top eight, so. Oh, yeah. These, these sets have been going yeah. off so far. These two have had each other's numbers. This is one of those things. This is one of those sets where you see on those, like, Smash Breakdown videos of, like, breaking down adaptation. We're seeing, like, we're just creating games back and forth. Chris adapting to the soccer ball each game. Oolong adapting to playing around PK Thunder and playing around getting juggled up in the air. So I'm excited to see which stage you go to the end. We're taking this back to town and city, which, yeah. mm, this is going to be tough for both players, honestly. Yeah. Oolong definitely gets the space, but it can turn into FD, and we saw Chris starting to juggle Oolong. It makes use of those, like, lack of platforms. So definitely not starting off strong for Chris right now. Oolong has him at the corner. Calls out the side magnet. Whew. Yeah. Chris going for the call out of his life there. Now finding the two frames with the down smash. Yeah. Finding too much there. A little reminiscent of 2019. That comes to the back air out of the corner as well. Now PK Chris is much more comfortable. Like you just mentioned, right? We went from town and city where Oolong yeah. was holding it down. The second the platforms went away. Oh, wait, we're back at FD. Yeah, oh, now I'm comfortable. Now, now I'm chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're going to see a bit more jugglings come about. Ooh. Oh, dash drive in. And Chris is getting a lot of snipes from these PK fires right now. Four coming out. Long trying to find the pressure, and there it goes, catching the spot dodge once more. PK Chris recognizing when to keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, a lot of players love to spot dodge there because they think, oh, he's just going to do a turnaround grab. Not nah, Chris just knows, doing the adaptation. And Oolong answers right back with that fair. These players are keeping it neck and neck, Momo. Oh, yeah, we have even Stevens on this two stocks apiece. Now Oolong finally is breaking the silence there with that soccer ball. Here comes a spot up to the grab of his own. PK Chris getting a little frisky with it with these combos. Yeah. And now we got Oolong again. Here comes the platforms once more, and you finally have that peace of mind to finally get that deep breathing and the soccer ball up once more. Yeah, and I'm liking Oolong starting to slow down the pace, saying, okay, the platforms are back. I need to take advantage of this and just like play at a pace where it is more beneficial to me. Oh, got to be careful playing around these platforms. Yeah. Here comes the Nair and setting up there once more, too. Here comes the back throw from Oolong, setting up with the soccer ball as well. I love the air dodge from Chris, but still getting stuck all the way out there. Finally, we're back to final destination, but is it too late? Oh, PK Chris still keeping the aerials out. Oh, he's hanging on just fine. All right. Down smash. Not going to do it just yet. And the, the Wii Fit roll just able to get Oolong out of the situation. But that bear... It's not going to be what Oolong wants. Oh, just hitting Oolong to the other side of the stage. And the damage from the soccer ball, tacking on with the up air, taking the stock. That's got to be a very unfortunate time for Oolong. Now, possibly the final stock of the winner's side. PK Chris trying to lock in here as well. The double jump, that huge jump height from Ness, keeping this pressure away, just playing for the plot time now, if anything. And the, again, the side magnet keeping the space very, very well. Oolong. Trying his hardest to find the hit, but PK Chris's movement is fantastic right now. Yeah. Chris did a great job of doing the movement, just wasting the deep breathing timing. And now Oolong has no deep breathing and is fighting on regular refit hours. All right. Trying to stand in the ledge. F tilt not going to take it right there. Mm. We got this deep breathing sun salutation. Oolong is charged up for this next stock, but he just has to take this one off of Chris. Yeah. He needs to take this stock as soon as possible, but PK Chris is willing to place as long as he needs to. Yeah, and I yeah. love the weight on that platform, too. Yeah. Oh, okay, back air, going to take it right there, 20%. We got ourselves a set, baby. Each person, one more stop, and Chris is going off. Missed a footstool right there. Yeah. But it's Oolong's turn. Oh, not getting the max damage. 
44%. Energy of this venue is off the charts. The players, both of them, New York City versus MDVA, the two fighting region tonight. Who's going to take it here? Here comes Oolong with the jab, not going to take it one just yet. Here comes the soccer ball as well. PK Chris finally looking for a tech chase here. The backer catching the jump as well. Oh, with the platform coming in clutch from the top rope. Yeah. Oh my god. Player oh. four, what's going on? What do we do? players want it. I like the stall right there. Catches the landing though. Chris is in a bad position. Can he reset? Yeah, that's gonna do it. And Oolong, MDVA's best, and for a reason, standing on business on the stage, saying, you know what? I'm tired of the haters. It was not a fluke. I am here to say, I am not fluke long. I am here to stay for an Oolong oh. time. Nick District talking shit. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. what he say? Okay, John number touching the stray right there. Wow. Not even here to defend himself. I've never heard somebody who only goes to locals catch so many strays as John yeah. numbers. He catches the strays all the time. He just goes to Zito, bro. Let yeah. him do his job. I'm a numbers fan. Exactly. He gets too much hate in these streets. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Anyways. But Oolong clutching Oolong. up in win in grand finals side, winner side. Hopefully we get to see. How does the rest of this bracket play out? Maybe PK Chris gets the run back, or one of these two players that are going to come up right now. I'm very excited to see the rest. I mean, honestly, we've just got a plethora of invaders left in this bracket. We've got Smub and Beast heading up to the stage yeah. now to play in loser semifinals. And then we've got Philly versus Virginia. And we've got the winner of that plays against New York. And the winner of that plays Maryland. Yeah. So yeah, four, four regions four facing off at the ground. Four different, four different states. I'm going to put... Basically, Tri-State versus MDVA, low-key. 